Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigan. Today in this video we are having one very very interesting question from algebra which we are going to solve in four ways. So let's get started by simplification of LHS first. So I will consider substitution. Let us say x plus 3 equal to our substitution a. So from here I can write the value of x plus 2 in terms of a which will be equal to a minus 1 and the value of x plus 1 in terms of a which will be equal to a minus 2. Let's apply to our equation. So I can write a minus 2 whole square plus a minus 1 whole cube plus a part 4 equal to 2. Now we will use a minus b whole square formula here, a minus b whole cube formula here. So let us apply. I will write here a square minus 4a plus 4. Now we will write a minus b whole cube formula. So I will get a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square, so 3a. Then we have a power 4, RHS is 2. So we will get a power 4 in LHS, a cube will be there, minus 2a square will be there, minus a will be there, plus 1 is there, equal to 0. This is our quartic equation, which we will be solving in four ways. So let me write here our method one. In this method I will check at a equal to 0. So if I will plug in a equal to 0, it is not satisfying our equation. So I will write here a cannot be 0. So I can divide our equation both sides by a square. Let us divide by a square. Divided by a square divided by a square as a cannot be equal to 0. So I will write our equation a square a power 4 over a square is a square a cube over a square is a minus 2 minus 1 over a plus 1 over a square equal to 0. Now I will consider these three terms all together and these two all together. So I will write a square plus 1 over a square minus 2. Let me write here. a square plus 1 over a square minus 2. Then we will write a minus 1 over a equal to 0. Now here I can write this is a minus 1 over a whole square a square plus 1 over a square minus 2 times a times 1 over a will give us minus 2 plus a minus 1 over a equal to 0. Now we will take a minus 1 over a common. So in other bracket I will write a minus 1 over a plus 1 equal to 0. Now as a cannot be equal to 0, so I can multiply our equation by a square both sides. So I will multiply 1a with this bracket and second a I will multiply into this bracket. Right hand side if I will write times a square, it will be as it is 0. Let's multiply first bracket with a. I will get a square minus 1. Second bracket with this a. I will write a square minus 1 plus a or a square plus a minus 1. RHS is 0. Now we will apply a square minus b square formula here. So we can write a plus 1 times a minus 1 times a square plus a minus 1 equal to 0. Now we will solve after method 4. Let me consider method 2. Method 2. 
In this method, I will write first equation a power 4 plus a cube minus 2a square minus a plus 1 equal to 0. Now in this method, I will consider these three terms in one bracket and these two terms in one bracket. So I will write a power 4 minus 2a square plus 1. Then we will write a cube minus a equal to 0. So this is whole square of a square minus 1. We can check a square whole square is a power 4. 1 whole square is 1. Minus 2 times product of both will give us minus 2a square. Here I will take a common out. So in the bracket a square minus 1 will be there equal to 0. Now we will take a square minus 1 common out. So in other bracket we can write a square minus 1 plus a. Now we will apply difference of two squares formula here and we will get the same factorization as method number 1 a plus 1 times a minus 1 times a square plus a minus 1 equal to 0. This was our method number 2. Now we will see method number 3. So method 3. Let me write our equation a power 4 plus a cube minus 2a square minus a plus 1 equal to 0. If I will plug in a equal to 1 directly, will it satisfy 1 plus 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 1? So yes, 3 minus 3, this is equal to 0. So we will say a equal to 1 is base solution to this quartic equation. Now we can use synthetic division method. In this method, we need to write all the coefficients of given equation. So I will write here coefficient of a power 4, 1, coefficient of a cube is 1. Then we will write minus 2, minus 1 and constant is 1. Leading coefficient 1, we will write as it is 1 here. Now we have to multiply this 1 with this 1. We will write the product here. Then we need to add these two numbers. 1 plus 1 is 2. Again, we will multiply 1 with 2. We will get 2 here. Addition will be 0. 1 times 0 is 0. Addition will be negative 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Addition will be 0. So here we have coefficient for cubic equation. So I can write equation as a cube plus 2a square minus 1 equal to 0. Again, if I will plug in a equal to negative 1, so it will give us minus 1 plus 2 minus 1, which is 0. So we will say a equal to negative 1 is base solution for this cubic equation. Again, we can use synthetic division method. So let me write all the coefficients of cubic equation. I will write 1, 2, 0, negative 1. Let me write here a equal to minus 1 is base solution and coefficients of cubic equation would be 1, 2, 0, negative 1. Leading coefficient 1 would be as it is. Now we will multiply these two numbers. So negative 1 times 1, negative 1. Addition of these two will be 1. Negative 1 times 1, negative 1. Addition will be negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is 1. Addition will give us 0. Here we have coefficients for quadratic equation. So equation will be a square plus a minus 1. So we can write here factors. So our first base solution, if I will write here a equal to 1, Second is written here minus 1 and then we have equation a square plus a minus 1 equal to 0. So I can write a plus 1 times a minus 1 times a square plus a 
minus 1 equal to 0. Again, we are getting the same equation. Now, I will consider our method 4. In this method, we will use factorization. I will write our quartic ones a power 4 plus a cube minus 2a square minus a plus 1 equal to 0. Now from first two terms I will take a cube common. So in the bracket a plus 1 will be there. Now I can take minus common from the remaining terms. So I will write 2a square plus a minus 1 equal to 0. I can write a cube a plus 1 minus. I will write in the bracket 2a square as it is. Then a. a will be written as 2a minus a. Minus 1 equal to 0. Or I can write a cube times a plus 1 minus. Here I will take 2a common from first two terms. So a plus 1 will be in the bracket. Minus 1 from last two will get the same bracket a plus 1. RHS is 0. Or I can write a cube times a plus 1 minus. Here I will take a plus 1 common out. So we will get second factor 2a minus 1 equal to 0. Now a plus 1 is common. We will take a plus 1 common. So in other bracket we will get a cube minus 2a plus 1 equal to 0. Now we have a plus 1 here. Now we have to factor this cubic expression. So I can split this constant 1. I will write a cube minus 2a and this 1 I will be writing 2 minus 1. So I can write a cube minus 1 here then minus 2a plus 2. Now we can apply a cube minus b cube formula here and we will take minus 2 common here. So I will write here a minus 1 in other bracket a square plus a plus 1. Then minus 2 is common in bracket I will write a minus 1. Now you can see a minus 1 is common. We will take a minus 1 common out. So in other bracket we will get a square plus a plus 1 minus 2. Which is a minus 1 times a square plus a minus 1. Now you can see the same factorizations. His steps and final result are matching. Let me write here. The final equation. So I will write here a plus 1 times a minus 1 times a square plus a minus 1 equal to 0. Now we have to solve. We will use product 0 rule. Either a plus 1 will be 0, a minus 1 will be 0, or a plus minus 1 equal to 0. So from first equation I will get a equal to negative 1. From second equation I will write a equal to 1. And from third equation we have to use formula, quadratic formula. So I will write here a will be equal to minus b. So minus 1 plus minus a square root of b square. So I will write 1 square minus 4 times 1 times c is minus 1. Denominator is 2. So I can write here minus 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4. I will write square root 5. Denominator is 2. So finally a equal to negative 1, 1 minus 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2. Now this is the value of a and our initial substitution was x plus 3 equal to a. 
So in place of a, we will be writing x plus 3. So I will write here x plus 3 equal to negative 1, 1 and negative 1 plus minus a square root 5 over 2. Now we will subtract 3 from both sides. We will get x equal to minus 1 minus 3 minus 4. 1 minus 3 minus 2. Minus 1 plus minus root 5 over 2 minus 3. So minus 1 minus 6. We will write minus 7 plus minus a square root 5 over 2. So we have four real solutions. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and hype. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.